All right, we are in. Chat, welcome to the forecast episode two. We got Stitch and Monkey over here. I have their names below. I have no idea where they went, but this is Stitch. <laughs> this is Monkey. Welcome to the forecast, you guys. How is your day going? Pretty chill. Hell yeah. yeah. Average. Good day. Good day? Did you guys stream today? No. 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 I mean, not yet. We'll, we'll not be yet. on later. Are you guys going to join in the SMF community games? That is the plan. Hell yeah, you guys, we're gonna get some gun game after this. But, all right. <laughs> all right, to start everything off, the very first question. You guys ready for this? What yep. the fuck is WBD? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so like four or five years ago, we had no one to play with. It was just like me and Stitch, and we're like, we need some new friends. And okay. I found this random group on Reddit. And I emailed the guy and said, hey, we're looking for some new friends to play with. And he's like, oh, I just started up this group. What Dane Bramage? And we're just a bunch of, it's an older community. I think it's 21 and up. And Stitch oh. and actually, Stitch and I are actually executive mods in the group as well. Um, we have, I don't know how many people, but so we just started playing with those guys. And uh, so they're like our first family. Oh, awesome. What, what does it stand for? What Dane Bramage instead of what brain damage because we're all kind of messed up in the head. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I absolutely love it. That is, that is great. So did you guys, when did you guys join them? Like what game were you guys playing? We were playing D2, I believe D2. at the time and Battlefield 1. Um, and then we joined them. Uh, and it, it was, I mean, it was great because like she said, we didn't have anybody to play with. So we walked into a group of people that, you know, they easily had 150 members. Suddenly we were in parties all night. We had tons of people to play with. Um, you know, so it was really cool for us because they were all, they were all adults, no raging kids screaming in the mic. I mean, it was a lot of fun and we made some really good friends, uh, out of that community. So no regrets on that one. Hell yeah. And so, so D2. Destiny. Destiny yep. 2. Mm -hmm. Did you guys ever play the first one? We did. Um, that's actually how Monkey became a gamer. Um, oh, in the very first one. Yeah, truth be told, she's only been playing since about a year after the release of D1. Uh, I've been playing video games my whole life. Um, she didn't really like them. And uh, once we kind of, we started dating and, and you know, we had, a, we had our house and I went and bought a PlayStation 4 and um, I picked up Destiny, started playing it. And then, you know, she was like, oh, what's this? And, you know, all the stuff. And she's like, oh, well, you know, maybe I'll give it a try. And so I would go to work all day and she would she would be sitting at home. because She worked from home and she would build up my character. So I'd come home, oh, my wow. levels would be higher and I'd hop on. And then she noticed I was in parties like I had friends I was talking to. And she was like, hey, I want my, you know, I want to be in the party. And I was like, get a PlayStation. She said, drive me to the electronics store. I said, okay. And the rest is history. So, damn. So, okay. So, D1 was Monkey's like first game into it. Yep. That's absolutely awesome. That trailer for D1 had me on edge, like that live action trailer. <laughs> oh my God. I absolutely loved that trailer. What, what was the, uh, if, the immigration was the song, if I'm right. I, I think I think that was the song that was on that. Yep. And, and oh, when that came out, dude, I loved it. I actually played some D1 when it first came out, and I never yeah. got into number two. I have it downloaded on the PlayStation, never played it. Titan for life. I have no Titan. idea why. You know, <laughs> and, and then, I guess you, the biggest fight in our house. <laughs> Titan for it life. Is. Yeah, I'm no, a Titan. He's a warlock, and it's been like that's like what we fight about. Titans yeah. are better. <laughs> yeah, it's just been, it's exhausting, chat, because literally it's just, I, I, at this point, I wish she would just sew handles on her pants so she'd be easier to carry. Um, <laughs> and your little lightning fingers. <laughs> Honestly, truth, truth be told, though, like, I mean, guys, like, I, I mean, I love her to death, and uh, I'm glad that she plays, but there's a part of me that'll always wish I hadn't introduced her because, um, no lie, every single first person shooter we've ever played, she's always beat me she's always had a better oh, kd she's always been a better shooter um i mean we've had some real competitive moments but her stats don't lie she's just better at first person shooters than me so you know and, and i'm just gonna say this i i think uh 
Now, chat, you might hate me for this, but I think females have a lot faster reflex time than males do. And I think that's what makes most females better than most dudes when it comes to gaming. I think I think it's they have a faster like internal <laughs> reflex where they just like like my you wife will snap on from, the quick. Right? <laughs> that stems from our fear oh, of boy. bugs. Fear of bugs. <laughs> <laughs> we can see a bug yeah. move anywhere in the room. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you guys, yeah, I, I see it. So so you guys started playing, or she monkey started playing on PlayStation. Uh, Stitch, did you were you want start on PlayStation? Uh, well, I'll go ahead and date. I'll, I'll date myself. I started on the original uh, Nintendo Entertainment System, um, and I played the entire way through all the systems. I was Xbox for probably four or five years, and then um, after, I think, my third Red Ring, I got sick of it, and my buddy said, get a PlayStation. I picked up a PS3 and never looked back. You made console. the right decision, bro. <laughs> I did. I really did. You know, the truth is, man, I still have it. We actually have it in one of our of our guest rooms. We use it as an entertainment system. That thing oh, is God, probably, yeah. it's never died. Like, it's it's an amazing piece of hardware, so. Right, right. Well, and, and so, okay, so you, you started out over there, and Monkey, you started on the PlayStation. Mm-hmm. Now, you both play on PC, right? Correct. Correct. How was that transition going from from PlayStation to PC? Because I can't do it. It took some time. That's a lot of buttons. But trying yeah. to go back to controller, like, I missed it. I'm like, I'm going to try back my controller again because I think I have better aim control because when I jump, my mm-hmm. mouse jumps. And I, like, <laughs> lose, <laughs> I lose my mouse. So I'm like, try to go back. But I'm like, but now I only have my thumbs and, like, my trigger fingers. Like, the other, like, six fingers have nothing to do. Right. And they miss having buttons. So, so you're back to controller. No way! I did no, that okay, for like okay. a match. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> back to PC. Back to my K and M. Okay. Okay. So what? What? What do you guys use for your setup? Like, like, what's your guys' preferred like keyboard mouse setup? Um. So I run Logitech everything. Ooh. Um. I actually the transition from PC to from console to PC was difficult for me because uh, I didn't. Uh, I didn't do too well in typing class, so home row didn't really mean a lot. Um, as opposed to, yet again, Monkey, who was like, oh, I typed 65 words a minute. This will be a breeze. <laughs> uh, so when we went, I actually ended up with Logitech set up. Um, she ended up going, what is it, a Taurus that you use? And the okay, keyboard? Okay, I have, and the mouse? Like, it's yeah, I have a whole bunch her. of stuff going on. Lots of toys. So, so both of you guys stream on the same account chat. It's Stitched Up Monkey on, on Twitch TV. So if you guys have not yet, make sure you head on over there. Stitched Up Monkey. They duo stream on the same account. Do you guys ever stream solo on any different account or the same account? Well, I have my own, the Happy Monkey, but I was I didn't like streaming by myself because I was always in a chat with Stitch anyway. I'm like, why are I stream on one day, you stream on another day, people are going to watch us both. That's confusing. Let's just merge together and be on one stream. Oh, God, yeah. No, I I absolutely absolutely love seeing two people on one stream, especially playing off each other and especially chat when Monkey looks over at Stitch and can only see right below the, the glasses. I can just imagine that being absolutely <laughs> hilarious. Like, great. Okay, so <laughs> like, I, I, I can I can already picture it. Absolutely great. So, speaking of that, I saw you guys talking to each other about watches. You guys have something coming up pretty soon, right? Or or we did do, it already yeah. hit? No. It, no, not yet. Yeah. A couple months. Yeah, okay. Five year anniversary. It will be uh, uh in October. So. Five years married. Yep. Mm-hmm. How, did you guys date before you guys were married? <laughs> oh my god. This is a good <laughs> you, want, you want me to tell this story or you want to tell the story? Here we go, chat. Oh, you, oh, you tell the story. You tell the stories better. Okay, so um, if you didn't know, we live in Las Vegas. Um, Monkey had been here a, quite a few years before I did. I, I moved out here in like 2003 um, at the time. My brother had a friend and that was her boyfriend. And she's the very first girl that I met in Las Vegas. 
Um, so fast forward 10 years or so, um, she was actually going through a divorce. Uh, we had remained. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You have to back up. You have to back up a second. Okay. <laughs> so. Oh, the wedding? You want to tell them the about wedding. the first wedding? Oh, so yeah. I married, I married the friend. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the friend the... turned out to be a complete asshat. Married and the friend so, of who? <laughs> of Stitch. Oh, you married Stitch? Stitch is his brother. Is... I married what, the third. It wasn't my, first off, that, that D-bag okay, was wasn't brother. my friend. He was my brother's friend. I was just friend by association, so. He was such a good <laughs> friend that he, Stitch was in my first wedding. He was one of my groomsmen. Okay. Correct. Yes. And I told and... him that day to, to behave. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's what she said to me. Uh, so it was in the fashion show mall in Las Vegas. It was the first wedding ever held there. We're going up on this elevated platform that rises up. That's where the models on the runway come up. And so we're on the, in the thing. She turns to me and she goes, don't you say a word, you behave. And I was like, fine, I won't then. So um, at that point, I stood there pretty much the whole ceremony and was just waiting to be like, don't marry this dick bag. Um, but I behaved myself. <laughs> I was told. And so that happened. And then, um, now I can fast forward? Now, now you can fast forward to cool. the shitty part. So, <laughs> fast forward through the shitty part. Uh, uh, ten years later or so, uh, we'd stayed friends. We stayed in touch. Um, mostly my brother and I were friends with her. We didn't really like her ex, uh, or her husband at the time. So, okay. um, then I ended up bumping back into her. She said she was uh, getting divorced. Um, so, we started hanging out as friends. And then... Oh, wait, you, can't, you gotta say what my mom said, because I was with my mom. Oh, yeah. Well, I bumped into her and her mom was in Walmart and we were talking and just catching up and her mom bumped her and was like, why didn't you marry this guy? Like, why? <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay, you know, again, I wasn't allowed to say anything. So that didn't happen. Um, so then. <laughs> so yeah, the mom really liked you. The mom, oh, mom. yeah. Oh, he used to okay. come over for like oh, yeah. Thanksgiving. Like he was like part of the family. Oh, perfect. Yeah. No, I, and I love my mother-in-law. She's, she's absolutely fantastic. Like we. Actually, she's a gamer. Uh, yes. I'll throw her some props. She is on Switch now. Uh, we played together on Wii. Like, she's amazing. She she plays all kinds of video games. Oh, We're wow. getting her I've been Minecraft. watching her since so. I was a kid. <laughs> so she plays yeah. she plays on the Switch. Yeah, yeah she's, she's on Zelda. Uh, she's Mario. She's played right. them all. <laughs> I've watched her finish everything yep. since I was a little kid. I was yeah. the watcher. I, I didn't like the it. buttons. I absolutely love it. That is a fantastic story. So you you guys have basically been friends for a very long time. Yeah, yeah. very long time. And um, in all honesty, I know some people say this, but truth is I've known her well over 15 years. Uh, we've never had one argument, like nothing. There's a real respect there. And I think that's because we were friends for so long. Like we just right. don't argue. You know, we'll talk things out. We have, our, we have differences, but at the end of the day. Um, Titan Warlock. Yeah, Titan Warlock, <laughs> Titan sucks. I'm seven, um, I'm 13, you know. Right, yeah. right. Yeah, but it's it's nice because, I mean, I'm not, she's very bubbly, happy person. I'm a little more like, uh, you know, I am get grumpy at times. Like, I'm, we balance each other really well. So, I mean, it, it's been great. So, quick it question, really who who's the M13? That would be me. I love it. Okay. <laughs> you guys, the M13 is so good right now. I absolutely love the, the M13. You know, and it even got re Okay, anyways. Anyways. Anyways, you guys, congratulations. I believe it was yesterday that you guys just hit 100 followers, right? We did, did yeah. yes. Yesterday. It was 100 followers yesterday. Yep. And, and I heard something about a, uh, a giveaway happening. Is that true? I, yes. I haven't scheduled it. I don't know when it's going to be. I don't know what the goal, end goal is, but um, they haven't even arrived. I ordered stickers with our little logo guy on it. Yep. Right. No, yeah, I love your guys' logo, the Stitch, Stitch Sub Monkey. I absolutely love it. Uh, your you. your guys' uh, stream starting with the with the Stitch Sub Monkey there and the little live flipping. I, I, I rewatched one of your guys' VODs. I was sitting there going, you know, <laughs> That's really cool. And then all of a sudden, the whole, um, uh, like, like Tetris and everything, and Pac-Man showed up. I'm like, okay, now that's, that's flipping awesome. So did you guys ever, like, when you guys were kids, is that what you guys used to play? Or what's the story behind the intro to your guys' stream? You played... I like Tentra Tetris. Yeah. Tetris. I played Tetris. Yeah, she played Tetris. Um, I played Pac-Man a lot in the arcade when I was younger. Um, but truthfully, I just figured... 
Like we, some of the plans we had moving forward, and part of why that intro changed is that we're gonna start incorporating uh, like a retro game night, like Throwback mm. Thursdays. Because I, I mean, I have all these systems. It's easy to plug one in, and then we can we can team up on some of the old games. Oh um, yeah. Kind of have we, we're trying to we're gonna broaden more into a variety of games, and so we thought these are some of our favorites. Let's throw them in there. So, so so you guys are gonna start doing the retro game night. So right now. On, on your guys' stream, you guys mostly play Call of Duty, I assume? Mm -hmm. Yes. How many wins are you guys at now? Hmm. Together, we have two in duos. Two. Chat. <laughs> I, okay. Okay, I need... I need someone in chat to send me the link of Monkey's very first win. <laughs> because I want to show that in the forecast. You guys. Okay, hang that was probably yeah. one of the best links or best clips I've ever seen. Oh my god. I don't even care. <laughs> I'll send it to you. Where oh, you, you'll send it? Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. If you send it to me, we'll watch it right here live, you guys. It's one of the best clips of a win I've ever seen. I absolutely loved it. Oh no. Stitch, you have it. Do I have it? You, ha you have it. I have the one that Polly sent. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on. I wish I would have had that one set because that would have been absolutely awesome. But, but yeah, so backstory on that, like mm -hmm. I was shooting the guy and then that ha that then you'll see the rest of it. That's absolutely awesome. You guys are, are you sending it or am I sending Oh you got it. Okay. Yeah, I sent it. Okay, here it is. Hold on. There you me... go. <laughs> I wonder if I can open it up. I can, I can. Here we go, chat. Let's go full screen on this. And then I'm going to remove myself. <laughs> so wait, before you hit play, it's like, like yeah. I like shooting the guy up. No, you have to rewind it. Rewind it. Can you? Yeah. That, that's, yeah, okay. that's the beginning of the clip. Right oh, that's here. the beginning of the clip. Okay, so mm -hmm. I've already shooting the guy and I had fallen off the building and died. And I can't, you know how like when you die and you can't see it just as spectating on your screen. That's why I'm freaked out because I don't know what the F is going on. <laughs> and play. Play. There we go. <laughs> yeah! Woo! We did it! Did we do the red? We did it! Yeah! We did it! <laughs> Watch it one more time. Oh my god! I, <laughs> I just want to try it like one more time. Yeah! We did it! Yeah! We did it! You guys, I can actually just like sit here and just keep watching that. I absolutely love it. I have played like 115 games. I'm not. I don't yeah. like battle royales i didn't like them playing black ops or what was it black ops 4 blackout, yeah blackout whatever right and so like he was playing all the time and i was like fine i'll play with you like i will be your duo's partner because we have that the same schedule not how it went <laughs> first off i had to practically beg okay and we had we had been playing multiplayer on black ops and this before like we were we were wrecking lobbies together and then i started playing with it about five months after it came out i had to beg her to play blackout so that's probably why the reaction is so amazing when she gets her win because for like 116 games all i heard was we're never gonna win never gonna it's never gonna happen <laughs> never gonna do it. so did, never gonna win. did you you guys you guys both played blackout together or separate that one we didn't play together i think we tried it twice and she was like this is crap and <laughs> she never <laughs> she played it, it again <laughs> yeah. i i would play with them to be like bait basically yeah, yeah. <laughs> just just hey monkey run out there Let's see what Pretty happens. much. <laughs> Which is actually, it's translated over in, into Warzone as well because we can't play a single match within the first two minutes. She's not uh, wanted. It happens every single time. She's always wanted. Always. Oh, jeez. You know, and, and always. I do have a most wanted t-shirt coming out. Oh. I, I might, chat, I might put a monkey's name on the back. 
and send her <laughs> one. Single, oh my god, I would die. I would wear that shit every day. It literally says, <laughs> most wanted on the front. Chat, that would be something great that we can do for them. Uh, for doing the forecast with us. Send Monkey a most wanted shirt. Um, so, a couple of the questions that we had from the last stream, uh, the last episode, um, was... Who is your guys' biggest influencer? Mine, personally, is Dr. Disrespect. I love everything about him. Uh, I love everything he does. Who do you guys watch and look up to that inspire you guys to stream? I'll let you go. I, I See, I didn't really watch a lot of streamers. Like, I started watching people that Stitch liked. Oh, okay. So, my influence right now, like, my favorite is Likely and Little Bet. <laughs> Oh, they're so go. adorable. Hey, like, they're, I they're... just want to be like, they're so cute. I love them. I, I, I'm, I'm new to them. Uh, they came in for the SMF tournament, so I'm very new to them. But what I see, I absolutely love in the door. They are, they are yeah. amazing together. Plus, they took home the they championship are. for the SMF tournament. That's like, awesome. That's absolutely Commentary, awesome. Commentary, the way that you know, likely right. interacts with the, um, with our chat, and like, they're just, yeah. As a couple streaming, that it, they're just adorable. Oh God, yeah, and, and, like no crying. So my my very first couple <laughs> that I saw stream was uh, Blue and Queenie. Have you guys ever heard of them? So they're they're I mean they're they're a smaller streamer. They're not like you know like Doctor D level, but they're they're absolutely amazing to watch as well. I love couple streams. So as soon as Polly said, hey. Let's run some with Stitch. And I was running some with Stitch. You know, like, like, Stitch and I ran Warzone for... We ran a couple times, right? We yep. ran probably just a couple times. And then um, Polly's like, hey, you need to get Stitch and Monkey onto the forecast. So I came over there and I saw both of you guys together. And I'm like, oh my god, this is perfect. <laughs> I was like, we, you know, like the very first episode, we had one person brand new. Second episode, I mean, I'm, 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 we're familiar with each other. And having two people on at one time, I absolutely love it. I love couples, couple streams, and I'm trying to get Miss Forty in more because, like, we started doing Saturday nights, and I need her to come back in more. So <laughs> we, us four, and, and DJ and his girl too, we need to do a Uno night together, just a, a, a nice. drinking Uno night. I think it'd be absolutely perfect. If we ever I'm do down. that, yeah, I'm down. Formula a little bit, like it would be great to have couples, like a couples night, definitely mm -hmm. on here. So, okay, so next question: What was your motivation to start streaming, and what are your guys's goals for streaming? That. Um, <laughs> I guess for me, my motivation, like I, I worked as an art director for a film studio for like a year and a half, and and I really liked. I liked the camera. I liked I liked the editing, the graphics. I mean, I went to college for art, so um, it kind of just fit. And Twitch just seemed like a good fit. Um, as far as like the inspiration for me, I love I love Doctor Disrespect because of the content. Right. But when it came to like streaming, it, I think it allowed the opportunity to be yourself. And I really Bobby Poff was my favorite. I watched him nonstop, and he made me think. You know, I could actually do this. Right. And then like to add to what Monkey was saying once we started watching likely a little bit i was like you know what you and i could do a couple stream and i think we could pull it off like they inspired us to do it because we saw them and how well it worked and i was like let's do that um but as far as like long-term goals i mean we just want to make awesome content um i've got a little more time now so i'm going to start putting up videos um just bringing more to it and just just a relaxed stream um you know not trying to I try to be the best in the world or anything. Just have a good time, you know? Exactly, dude. That's what it's all about. Just, you know, having having everybody together, showing love, showing support, and just having a good time. Like, really, that's really it. I mean, yeah. it, seeing these top streamers and what they go through, can you imagine the stress level? Like, just looking at their chat with 30,000 messages in a minute. Like, yep. they have a lot of responsibility. And if they tweet one bad thing, like, let's just say political. If they say one bad thing, it can all be taken away in like a minute. You know, like I like having my own personality and telling people to go fuck themselves and saying sexy yeah. fuckers and stuff. <laughs> Dude, if I was a big streamer and I said sexy fuckers, I probably would be like, hey, that's TOS or some shit and get out of yeah. here. You know, but um, okay, so I am actually right now going to open up the floor 
to anybody in chat, if you guys have any questions for Monkey and for Stitch, right now is the perfect time to type your questions in the chat and we will definitely ask them. Well, that's, while they're doing that, where did the name Stitched Up Monkey come from? What is the background between, like, obviously we got Stitch, we got Monkey. Where did your guys' names come from? Like, what, what happened? to stitch mostly <laughs> like, <laughs> so i uh i mean our individual names mine came from lilo and stitch because he was my favorite cartoon from the day oh. that i saw that in theaters and 626 is his number uh yep, two yep. five was my birthday so i was trying to come up with a name on playstation that's what it gave it allowed me to get and so i just went with that and um the rest is history for that part of the story for stitch Monkey, how, yeah for me Mine was when I was trying to find a name when we were doing Left for Dead and I had to like make an account. And I'm like, well, I love monkeys. My mom will tell you since I was a kid, yep. monkeys has been my monkeys life. Monkeys is it. Yep. And then I'm always happy. Everyone always says I'm just a ray of sunshine, just happy, happy all the time. So I'm like, why not happy monkey? And the three is for me, my brother and my sister. Oh, okay. That's, see, that's, that's a nice little meaning behind there. Like, mm -hmm. Like you, every time you see it, you think of that. Yeah. Like that, that's awesome. I mean, shit, mine's so plain. I just wanted Jay Forbin. Like that's my actual name. <laughs> I was like, that worked though. I was like, I'm not even doing anything for it. So yeah. stitched up monkey was just your guys' name basically put together, or what's this the story will... behind that? This is a really short story, and it, I think we lucked out because uh, we actually put it up in uh, in Polly's chat. And uh, Miss Licks a lot said, "How about stitched up monkey?" It puts the two of you together. And the more we sat and looked at that, she it was she was the first one to respond because we put out to say, "Hey, we want to merge. Can you guys help come up with a name?" When she threw that out, I mean, I just looked at monkey. I was like, "That's it. Like, I mean, I can take a, a character. I can design one that looks like a sock monkey. Stitch him together. Like he's had some hard times. He's he, he's been put back together, and it puts the two of us together, just like gaming did. So it was perfect." I absolutely love Thanks it. Thanks to her so much. What what was her name? Yeah, Miss Licks a lot. She's <laughs> one of in Polly's chat. Miss okay. Licks a lot. If you're watching this, great idea, great idea. It's a really good, really good name for their backstory, and it fits them perfectly well. Um, so questions from chat: Who's more likely to rage, Stitch or me. Monkey? And this one comes from Drama Three One Two. He knows the answer to me. It's me. <laughs> okay, bro. <laughs> 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 completely just stitch so when was the last time you raged uh about yesterday, yesterday yeah. <laughs> like, what, what time is it i mean <laughs> what was it in call of duty <laughs> of course Always. Yeah. yeah oh yeah uh okay question for you beautiful people where have you gone to vacation for or where have you gone on vacation or for a day off that is your favorite place to go and hang out together this question comes from Likely Formula. Oh, I think my favorite vacation was... It's a toss-up between Hawaii, Hawaii or the Cranberry <laughs> Box. Yeah. The what? So we were in Boston mm -hmm. and we went to the Cranberry, Cranberry Box, correct? Is that what they, what they call them? And you can put on yeah. the ocean spray like jumpsuit like those guys in the commercial and we went in the Cranberry Box. Yep. Like we, the picture we have <laughs> on it. our fridge, we look like we're part of the commercial. So, so for, so for, Hawaii, so which one's, which one's number one, Cranberry Box or Hawaii? I'd say Hawaii because I mean that's kind of where I fell in love with her. So. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, is, is there a story with Hawaii? Oh, that, is, that is the best story. Okay, so <laughs> rewind like a couple years ago. My brother was getting married in Hawaii, and we had just started like hanging out. And I'm like, you should be my date and come with me because I didn't have a date. And he <laughs> is so afraid of flying. Hate we had, it. I hate, like, so we had it's a terrifying. backup plan. So I understood, like, if we got to the airport and he couldn't make it onto the plane, like, we had a ride standing by for him if he had to get driven home. And then I was going to get on the plane and go. So I gave him seven Xanax, oh, <laughs> two Valium. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. And uh, we're, we're, I'm like, okay, I'm a nervous flyer to begin with, and now I can't do it. Like, I can't fly. Like, I won't fly now. But back then, I was still a nervous flyer. I'm like, okay, I gotta get in, get my spot, and like, set up my stuff. So like, are you coming? He's like, 
no, I can't make it. I'm like, all right, cool. I have to go. It's my brother's wedding. So right, right. I'll see you later. And so like I'm walking up and I'm like, try not to look back. Don't don't do it. Don't look back. You're 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 just gonna cry. Don't look back. And like I'm giving the lady my ticket, and all of a sudden this this giant jumps on my back. He's like, we're going to Hawaii. <laughs> oh Jesus. <laughs> and he got on the plane. Yeah. And then, but I called my mom and said he couldn't make it. And my oh, mom wait, and dad wait, were, wait, oh, oh, wait, yeah, yeah. wait, wait, I'll get but... to that part. I'll get to that part. Okay. You so get I had to called my part. mom when I got on the plane and said he couldn't make it. I'll be by myself. I'll call you when we land in San Francisco. She was not happy. <laughs> she was not happy. So we get in San Francisco and I leave him at a bar. I said, don't move. Have to go to the bathroom. Just don't move. You left Stitch there, right? I left Stitch at, okay, the, at okay. the bar. Fast forward. Okay, so that so Stitch is at the bar. <laughs> I don't know what happens at the bar because I'm in the bathroom. So we land in Hawaii. We'll get back to that part. We land in Hawaii, and I walk out without Stitch. He's back behind me, and my mom's there, and she gives me the little thing, and she's hugging me, and and all of a sudden, my mom goes, "What? Wait, what did she say? She she was like, you fucker." She and said a she... lot of <laughs> lot of bad words in that moment. <laughs> Yeah. He walked out. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm sure she was happier than shit to see you. But then fast forward like two weeks, he got his credit card bill. Yeah, yeah, my three hundred and ninety dollar <laughs> credit card bill because I bought everybody around at the bar at the airport in San Fran. So everybody around at the bar, holy crap, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Twenty seven drinks and it was uh, Jameson shots, so that was fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Jeez. That, that's. <laughs> you guys have quite the stories. I'll tell you that. Oh, yeah. Like, they're perfect. All right. So, it's not yeah. If you want to, I sent you a picture. You're welcome to share it. It's a picture of us in the cranberry bog. In case, in case people aren't sure what that is, it's it's a great picture. We shared it on Facebook and everything. Everybody loved it. So, they have a thing where you could put the overalls on and you could see what it's like to be a worker. Which, uh, my grandmother was a worker in that when she grew up, and that's what we got to go do we got to go have fun for a day it was really really a good time i absolutely love it so did, did you guys <laughs> so what what did you guys bring home with you from there memories, like, uh, memories yeah cranberry just memories. Oh, so <laughs> you guys didn't like like how, how does it work like what you go there for just to walk in it or do you guys go there to make wine and stuff it's a or whole festival it's a whole cranberry yeah. festival and they have rides and um you can buy jams and juices. Oh, okay. And like yeah. it's like a craft show. So this is where they actually, the, all the cranberries get grown. And then right. what happens is they have people that pick them or machines do it mostly now. They float them down a river and they get into a giant like holding pond. It's called the bog. And then okay. there, there's folks that wait around with those overalls and push them in the direction. They get washed, they get processed. So just imagine like farming in the Midwest, but this is just cranberries. And just there's, can- there's literally wow. billions of them. Yeah, it's a, it's an amazing time. It's a really cool thing to see. I'm not gonna but lie, I've bad. never been to one of those. <laughs> like, I have never really seen any of those besides like winemaking, you know, like where you, where you go in there and you make wine and stuff. But I've never, that's why I was interested. I was like, what, what do you get from like, like what happens there but that's how you get the ocean I'm, spray cranberry juice i might have to mm-hmm. i need to open Are my horizons chat <laughs> you need to get out Morgan. i need to get out i need to get away from this <laughs> desk <laughs> that's what needs to happen all right next question from deep three deck bros do you play non-video games favorite board game yes I have a nightly game that I have been playing with my parents since coronavirus started oh, geez. in March. We have a dice game that we play every night through Zoom. And Stitch and I also play it like during dinner or when we're just sitting around the table. We also play uh, <laughs> Pictionary. <with laughs> There's always um, dicks involved. Yeah. Someone's always drawing something that looks like a wiener. Yep. <laughs> Not yep. sure why. Eight inches away. What was it? Oh, eight oh. inches away from the keyboard. <laughs> eight inches. The mouse is eight inches away from the keyboard. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and four inches. Around the mouse pad. Around the mouse pad. <laughs> <laughs> that was absolutely awesome. Uh, would you guys be interested in playing Cards Against Humanity ever? We, ha- 
we have yeah. the whole box set. We have all, we of, have them. all of it. Yeah, the whole. So we do it every once in a while for SMF Community Night as well. Oh, oh nice. nice. Where we do uh, Cards Against Humanity with um, with everybody in stream. And yeah, there's a lot of a lot of dick stuff that happens in that too, and, and some really bad stuff, and that's why I've never streamed it. But uh, six should. always does. Hilarious. Yeah, I, I think we should. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You choose one bad thing, you know, and mm -hmm. that shit's clipped forever. Can't, All right. you, can't be, you can't be afraid of dicks, Forty. In life, you got to sort through a <laughs> lot of them before you find good people. No, so. I've, I've met a lot of dicks. I, I've <laughs> met a lot of dicks, and, and yes, that is 100% true. So, to, to basically finalize everything for the forecast, you guys, I'm going to roll out the red carpet for you guys. You guys can completely just completely like tell us your socials tell us your links tell us what you guys have coming up in your stream and, and basically why every single person that watches this video besides the last 40 minutes that you guys have seen besides that <laughs> why 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 would why should they come to you guys and why like what do you want everybody to see you know what i mean like like what 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 do you guys have coming up i mean do you see this beard like seriously <laughs> Is this not enough to push people to the stream? Oh, it is. I'm just kidding. Oh, you God, guys. it no. is. <laughs> Monkey, you can... Uh, so, I mean, what, as far as our stream, you could see me rage, uh, Monkey play like a champion, uh, me rage some more because Monkey's better than me. Um, I don't know. You you go ahead with the social media. <laughs> Everything is stitched up Monkey. A little bit behind that, Stitch up Monkey is S-U-M. We tell everyone they can be a somebody, S-U-M-B-U-D-D-Y. Yep. So everybody can be a somebody when they come hang out with us. Uh, or you could not stop by perfect. and just keep being a nobody. Either way. <laughs> I fucking You're love not it. somebody until somebody loves you and we are somebodies. <laughs> there you go, chat. You guys hear, heard it here. <laughs> Stitched up monkey on Twitch. You guys have been absolutely fantastic. Thank you guys for uh, doing this. Thanks for having thanks. us. And, and, having us buddy. Monkey, I'm definitely sending you that shirt. 100%. <laughs> Most wanted shirt. Chat. <laughs> I have one final question for chat. Sometime at the beginning of this podcast, there was a game mes mentioned that Monkey played at the very her very first game. If you can type it in chat right now, you might win 20 gaming PC tickets right now. Monkey, as soon as you see it, shout the person out. I mean, can what? I type in the chat? <laughs> no, nope. you can't chipe. <laughs> Likely got it right off the rip. That's the one that got it all started was D1. D1, chat. Likely formula getting 20 tickets to the gaming PC giveaway. Congratulations, Likely. Look at that. D1, D1, Destiny, Tetris. Halo? Who are you? Uh, Halo has not been said <laughs> at all this stream. <laughs> I absolutely love it. <laughs> Chat, hey, you know, okay, Monkey and Stitch, you guys used to have an Xbox. Did you guys ever play Halo? We actually didn't. I've never touched the game. <laughs> I figured I'd bring it up since it was the first time we talked about it in chat. <laughs> never did. But I mean, it came out It came out in the summer of like early 2000s, so it's pretty oh, yeah. wrapped up in me. So that's probably why I didn't play it. The new trying to, grow, for... trying to grow a beard back then, so. Right? You gotta keep the beard, you guys. Beards are sexy as shit. Thank you know, you. <laughs> gotta keep the beards. Anyways, Stitch, Monkey, thank you guys for making the episode too. Absolutely amazing. Just thank you guys. It's been it's been fun. Um, no, no problem. We loved it. Yeah, this was. A we great have so time. many more stories. You I know. know <laughs> and, and chat, if you guys want to see Stitch and Monkey back on the forecast, make sure you go to their Twitch or their Twitter account. It's a uh, Monkey Stitched up, right? No, oh, I think it's just Monkey Stitched is Monkey, our Twitter. Monkey Stitch. Yep. Go to their yep. Twitter and post pictures of this moment right here and say, hey, <laughs> we want a number two. A number two. That's what we want. Monkey and Stitch, <laughs> you guys have been amazing. I fucking love you guys. I will Thanks, see Marty. you guys Thanks later. Thanks, everybody.